everybody, it is Pixie, and it is haul time. I haven't done a haul in a little bit, and I'm super excited because this is our annual, I guess, anime convention merchandise haul, aka whatever I bought in the vendor's room at the only con I go to, like, every year for sure. I am going to HowCon this year, I am, like, 75% sure I purchased a ticket just for Sunday so I can enter the masquerade because when I got back from Anna Maritime the post-con depression hit me real hard uh, this was like literally two days ago and I was like hm, well I can't wait a year going to HowCon so that's that if you're going to HowCon in Halifax I'll see you there maybe anyway on to the haul also, if you want to see my vlog from this convention, it is the video previous to this one. You can check it out if you want. It's just a vliggity vlog. I am very happy to be back here in my setting with my actual makeup on and stationery in my home with lighting and quality-ish, so it's not as terrible. I have the mic on. I have forgotten to put the mic on my camera for the past multiple videos. I apologize that it has sounded uh, slightly resemblant to garbage, but here we are in all of our glory. Also, my hair is green. I'm doing a video on that too. I will probably film them all today so I can have it uploaded back on a schedule because I've been off my schedule because I've been getting ready for it a maritime and I was uploading twice a week real good and then I stopped because I was all constantly sewing stuff for my artist alley booth. Anyway, 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 anyway. Hauling now happening. Yes. I didn't plan on buying that much stuff this year. I don't think I bought a ridiculous amount of stuff. Um, I think I was pretty chill. Last year's haul was uh, fucking ridiculous. You can watch that if you want. It's like, I forget what it's called. It's something dumb. This year I definitely chilled out a lot more, mostly because a lot of the stuff that I bought last year was there again. And I was like, haha, I already purchased you on impulse. So let's get hauling. Let's start with Let's start with the most exciting thing, because I want to, and it's up here. Ooh, what a hint. I wonder if it could be a magical girl item. Ooh, there's no way that would happen. Also, every time, not every time, but recently when I've been vlogging in front of this background, I get a surprising amount of comments saying that they look like dildos. Um, I just want to say that if you think that like this looks like a dildo your sex life might be like a little bit on the rocky side and you might have been lied to about what a dildo is just putting that out there protect yourself i love you all be safe you know if anyone tries to shove this or this or even these in you like you might want to you might want to phone a buddy anyway <laughs> let's start with this this is the card captor sakura clo book Obviously, some people say clow. I don't agree with that. I watched the subbed version. I did not watch card captors. That is a whole other crime. I could make a whole series of videos talking about magical girl anime and that sort of thing. I'm kind of considering it after anime time. I've gotten very jazzed. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. I'm logged in a while and I'm like roaring to go. Anyway, so the clow. This is the Sakura version. I am going to be honest with you. I have made it to episode literally, I think, 35 out of 70 episodes. I'm pretty sure I'm f like uh, completely 50-50. I need to finish it. I have not gotten to the part where the cards are pink. I'm gonna put that out there, but obviously I got it because it was pink. It was $100. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. This uh, piece of cardboard was $100. I went into the con thinking, there is nothing I think I'm going to splurge on. However, I am prepared that if there is another Sailor Moon Proplica item, like last year I got doo -doo -doo -doo, the Cutie Moon Rod, which was 100 20 bucks or something. I was like, if they have the spiral moon heart rod, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong. I know I'm, I'm, I spend so much money on this stuff and I'm like, I think that's what it's called. Come on, the names are all really similar. The spiral heart 
rod. If they had that, I would have gotten it. If they had any of the compacts, I think I would have gotten it. I like wands more because it fits on my wall. But they didn't have any of those. I was upset. Uh, not actually. But I was like, what else am I gonna... I did this. This was never on my list of things to get for my collection just because I don't know like I really wanted the Sakura wand or the key thing or the you know what I mean her actual like wands and staves and items but they're really expensive because Car Captor Sakura is really old and there haven't been any rebooted items I don't think I could be saying a million incorrect things punch me in the face but I was like, wait a sec, yeah, this exists. Why haven't I been searching for this? I don't know, but I have it now and I'm really happy. It's beautiful, it's got metallic-y bits. The back of it has the thingy, like what the cards look like on the other side. It says Sakura. And then, da -da -da, you open it, it has this card stuck with all of the card names has this which is in Japanese therefore I cannot read it at least enough to understand it does have the hiragana over each of the kanji so like if you gave me an hour I could probably decipher this on my own <laughs> um and then we have the cards in the book Doo -doo 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 -doo. and they're in a box which is nice and I put Wendy on top because it's funny because in the show, Wendy was on top and it blew around and that's why she has to capture them. <laughs> okay, I also want to say, whoever, this is me reaching out, whoever left this wonderful and generous, sweet and kind gift sitting on my chair on Sunday with the little wrapping that says two pixie locks from a fan of your youtube channel heart please let me know who you are i want to give you a big virtual hug and a smooch they left me this lala from prepara nendoroid i love lala she's my favorite character from prepara oh i think she's pretty freaking good she's pretty freaking cute um prepara who the frick is subbing prepara and why are they like literally months behind that's what i want to know because I'm, I'm so into this anime but it's like horrendously backtracked on the subtitling anyway this is amazing i love it so much i don't know if i want to leave her in the box or what because it's like it's just so cute my heart exploded when i saw this i almost cried it was very good it was a rough weekend in some parts and this made it a lot better so thank you very much mystery person i love you i'm just gonna go in a random order because i'm all over the okay there's still Ramune, like the little plastic bits that you pop the marble out. There's still those on my floor in this corner from when I did that video literally a year ago. Thought you should know. I bought this pillow that says Weeaboo because I thought it was funny. It's not by like a specific uh, shop or anything that you can find them online. It's by like a local place called Rococo Neko. Um, we so you can't like buy this online unfortunately but I think it's really funny and it's in my colors and I want to I'm working on revamping my room to make it much more like bright and colorful instead of like literally everything is pastel so much that when you walk in if I didn't have my glasses on I think I was just like floating in a sea of light pink and white because I don't like that as you can tell with my hair I'm getting a little more Pikachu so I got this I think it's funny it is one of many hopefully more happy cushions that will go on my bed and it says weeaboo and I think it's funny and I love self-deprecating humor as you may have learned but you oh I forgot my cat was on the bed and I almost hit her with the pillow sorry yeah I also got, this is one thing that I didn't get last year that I almost did, and I don't think it's gonna fit in the frame, but it's a Sailor Moon towel. I think she's really cute. This was uh, one of the collaborations with Galaxy, which is a Harajuku brand, which is really cool. Um, and it's really like 80s with like the triangles and the squiggles and stuff, and it's all pastel, which I like, cause I love Sailor Moon, but some stuff is like, dark red and navy and I'm like no give me that cute shit she's happy 
I imagine myself in my hot bikini with my ever so perfectly coiffed hair going to the beach and like laying on my pastel 80s Sailor Moon towel um, because that's probably definitely not gonna happen this summer um, but a girl can dream it's just really cute maybe I'll just lay it in my room Whee! and you can fold her up so she's peeking at you thank you Usagi Let's do all the Sailor Moon stuff together because there's a lot of it. Um, I got some Sailor Moon socks. They're really cute. Let's do a zoomy zoom. There's Sailor Moon. Moon Sailor, as we like to call her. There's Luna. There's the Moon Stick. I think those are my faves. There's Bowie Bow Bows, which are also really cute. But And there's these little pink Sailor Moon ones. And that's good because I keep stealing my mom's socks. And I think I'm going to get disowned soon. Oh, and the bottoms of them all say in their room. Wonderful. I also got these, which I... They didn't appeal to me for a long time. They're just keychains and they're like kind of squishy. Um, and there's the Crystal Star Compact and the Cutie Moon Rod. Poo, look at me going with my knowing the names <laughs> for once in my life. These are of course more of the 20th anniversary sailor moon stuff um they didn't appeal to me for a while just because i'm like mm, they're like cartoony and like squishy and i'd rather like a 3d thing but guess who's into planning now yes i have been using my planner literally all of the time and it's a problem but so i got these to hang from my planner since they're soft and kind of squishy like it's not gonna dent the leathery outside of my binder or anything and they're lightweight and i've been saving putting them on my binder because I think I'm gonna do an ASMR video of me planning again don't quote me on that because anytime I promise anything on YouTube it curses me into never wanting to do it I don't know why I don't know why like the Ojima Jodori me video I still want to do that I literally filmed it and then it was like 40 minutes long and I was like wow maybe I should fucking stop so anyway let's continue with the haul I'm real rambly I forgot I got this oh hi! I totally forgot I got this I got a Sailor Moon necklace and I don't know if I'm going to use this as a necklace or if I'm going to use it as like a crazy, I think I'm, I got it to use as a keychain on my bag. It's like big, like here's my pinky finger, here's the thing. The guy who was selling this at his like vending place was really creepy, asked me how old I was, kept calling me beautiful, told me my eyes look like, and I quote, big beautiful california raisins um which was funny but i was also afraid because my booth was right across from their place and he was like really old and creepy but they gave me a discount on this because i was beautiful so okay i mean i'll take it i'm glad i don't live in the same province as you i also got more stickers pudding i'm not sure if i got this exact one last year but i got three other ones i haven't used literally like any of them but I love them, and they're all holographic Sailor Moon, and they come in a cute little envelope. This is another thing that is Sailor Moon, but this was by an artist. So this is like handmade, machine embroidered, obviously, but it's really cute. It's a little Artemis. They had a bunch of other colors and stuff, but obviously this one looks like Artemis, so I went for it. Um, it's really good quality. I'm gonna zoom, mega zoom. He's super super cute and his tummy is filled with little squishy beans or rice or something so he's like weighted and squishy and I love the squishy tummy and I like the little embroidered paw pads and I like his stiff kitty tail and he was only 20 bucks and for the amount of like effort and precision that goes into that like heck yeah so shout out to the store who made these I'm literally the worst person ever for not knowing that but we they're really cute and he's just this big and I like him I like him they also had like pastel lavender lunas but I liked his pretty blue eyes hmm. he's gonna sit on top of my sewing machine and give me good luck or maybe he'll sit here oh I don't know oh I don't know you can be the you can be the princess of the castle for for this video. 
Okay. This is one of the Sailor Moon items that came out with the 20th anniversary. It says a miniaturely tablet. Oh yeah, no, it is an official like 20th anniversary thing. So I took it out of its cute little box and put it on my cute little Wally wallet. It is actually for keeping pills or mints inside. I don't know if I'd do that because it's hanging outside and the only pills I'd want to have on me are like expensive and I don't want them to like start spilling out because I need them. Um, but we let me zoom in, zoom in. He's got this little like pink perfumey thing. I think it's supposed to be and you can go put and then dispose your mints and do that and you can fill it by opening it here but my nails are too clunky to do that but it's so pretty I just got it to use as like a keychain and also my ridiculously generous aunt surprised me with this gift um, for graduation which also happened like a couple weeks ago and it's a coach wallet like real live coach wallet i've never owned anything i've never owned anything from coach myself and i was looking for a wallet literally because the wallet i was using before was my baby the star shine bright pass passport case thing which literally just holds like three cards and my license so this one actually has little room and i love it so much so thank you, Anne, if you're watching, you're probably not, but holy frick, uh, that was ridiculously generous, and I'm so thankful, and I love it. Mwah. Oh, I forgot I got this too. God damn it. I thought I, like, restrained myself. Here it is in the pickety package before I wreck it. Ding. Mini Moon is my favorite looking Sailor Scout. Obviously, she's all pink and cute and short, and I'm short and pink and, like, as cute as I try to be. So I like her. She uh, is really annoying and pisses me the heck off, at least in the English dub. But the arc with her and Pegasus or Helios is my favorite arc in all of Sailor Moon. And it really touches me and I really identify with her and I think she's really cute. I don't know where I'm going to put this. Maybe on my DS. Maybe on my phone. I like how happy she is. Can we zoom in even more? No is the answer, but look at her. I also got this from an artist called Mad Hatter Plushies. If you're watching this, I love you. Your stuff's so good. Again, another artist that uses an embroidery machine. I want one of these for fashion reasons. But this is a little Animal Crossing, like, furniture leaf. It's super cute. Colin got one that was a fossil. Wee! And Colin also got the big version of this, um, which is like a big old pillow. And we actually, like, asked to have one made for us on hold because it's so cute. He's gonna go on my DS for sure. Cause literally all I play on my DS is Animal Crossing New Leaf and Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I also got two little tiny uh, Car Captor Sakura figures. I love Sakura. I really need to finish Car Captor Sakura cause I really enjoy it. And I don't know why I'm not watching that. Why did I stop? You tell me. But I got little Car Captor Sakura on her fly broomy thingy. Um, I am really getting into witchcraft and that sort of thing, both in pop culture and like actual witchcraft. I have a lot of friends and role models in my life that are Wiccan or pagan or witches and I just think it's really cool. And it's always good to sort of open up your mind and learn about new things and spirituality and stuff anyway. I'm not gonna talk about that because some people that doesn't float their boat, but I got little witch ask Sakura because she's just like magical girl flying on a little broom. Aesthetic though. So I showed her a little bit in my vlog, I think. She's so cute. She comes on a stand, but it's um delicate, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Here's a little stand just so you can see it, so I'm not the worst vlogger ever. It says Care Captain Sakura with little flowers. I also got this one which I actually got um, after Artist Alley had closed, exactly 12 minutes after. I was sitting there and I was like, I think I'm gonna regret not getting little Sakura with her wand. I love this wand. So I ran over, I ran to the lovely lady who runs that vendor booth, Big Pfeiffer Collector? 
vegetables. It's spelled with a P F E I F F E R, I think. I always say big pfeiffer in my head, but I'm like 90% sure that's not how you say it. Um, she's also the main vendor that I got literally like everything from, so. I'm a regular, I guess you could say. Basically, I annoy her a lot by coming back a million times to buy different things. But she was kind enough to let me buy this as they were packing up. And she's super cute. And they're going to sit on either side of my computer situation whenever I get a computer. Can we talk about Pretty Cure for a sec? Because this is really important. I said this in my vlog as well, but it's really important. Um, to me at least, which means probably not important at all. Um, I love Pretty Cure. Pretty Cure has changed my life. Pretty Cure has taught me how to feel proud of my femininity and not weakened by it, how to be a strong female, the magic of magic and fighting and friendship and love. Anyway, it's incredibly important. I'm getting it tattooed on my leg. Here is the only Pretty Cure item I have ever been able to purchase at Anna Maritime in the five years I've been going there. Um, there was one other item I saw a couple of years back. It was a Cure Heart, also from this Pretty Cure series um, figure, but I went back the next day and it was gone because I'm a freaking dumb idiot and I thought there was going to be more Pretty Cure there, but there wasn't because I'm dumb. And another person commented on my last video saying that they saw a Cure Happy figure. So, ha, not just two things, but three at the minimum. Wee! I don't really like... Well, I like... Doki Doki Pre-Cure's okay. It's not, like, even in my top five Pretty Cure series. There was, like... There was a lot of weird plot twists with, like, how this one princess was, like, four people. Um, sorry if that's a huge spoiler, but it's pretty big. Anyway, this is Cure Diamond. I'm Doki Doki Brick here. Um, I was just so excited to see a pretty cure item that I just went for it. I also don't really like these plushies, but like she was $10 and like she doesn't look that derpy. Eee. She doesn't look that weird. Like some of these are real wonky and their eyes are like black black, but she's okay. She's just like glad to be there. Anyway, so that's her. I hope there's more pretty cure in coming years because it's really important to me how close am i to you right now like uncomfortably close i was also blessed by the kindness of my friends um my friend kenzie brought me a bag of goodies and gifts and i also brought her a little gifty gift and something she was gonna buy from me my baby star shine bright parasol i was just like no take it it's part of her gift it's free i don't know how that counts but i thought it did um also uh friend i have on facebook keegan who i don't think i had ever actually met at least not like met met like i know your name met brought me a big old box of gifts out of the kindness of her heart like an angel including these beautiful glittery rainbow sparkle heels because Keegan is crazy generous and I love them and also this glittery rainbow confetti PVC uh freaking like wallet clutch thing what the heck that she made what the heck and also some other things but if i haul everything it's gonna take forever but thank you you guys fill me with love and i just wish i could give you a million hugs and kisses and dollars and it was like really good anime time i had a ton of fun i think that's everything i bought i think oh i also bought an anime time t-shirt but it's a white t-shirt with like the black design on it and i don't feel like going to get it right now Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really hoping to be uploading more frequently now that the con is over. I have a new job where I'm working the perfect amount of hours that I want to work so that plus YouTube, I'm working full time now. But that's good because that includes YouTube so I can do what I love. Yay! I will see you guys in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over. I love you so much and I will see you later. I just got so much lipstick on my hands. Whee!